Hello friends and hello fellow vintage lovers. Welcome to my second haul from the Highway 80 sale. Like I said before, there will be several of these hauls, so make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification button so you can see everything that I picked up. I'm not going to explain the Highway 80 sale again, but in case you were wondering, it's obviously on Highway 80 and people um, are set up selling all sorts of goodies. And these are items I picked for my live sales. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to go fast with this one. We'll see how it works. These animals are so freaking cute. These are from Singapore. And I, I tried to look them up and I couldn't quite find them. Um... They're, they're like this canvasy material. This one is a donkey, I believe. This hippo is adorable. Here is a horse. They're so cute. Let me show you the hippo. She has an outfit on, <laughs> which I love. Then there is an elephant. Look at him. Absolutely adorable. They all have these little braided tails. And look at the rhino. These are so cute. I had never seen these before and I was super excited to pick them up. So there are five of them. Then I picked this up. I'm always going to get these if I see them for a good deal. This is obviously a paperweight and it has Bulacanti controlled bubbling. There's a little bit of a scratch up here that you can't really see unless you're looking for it. And of course you can turn it around I got it knowing that scratch was there because I know how many people are into paperweights like this, crystals, you know, it kind of fits that whole vibe of people who love glass and crystal. So I had to get that. This is amazing. This is a Native American piece. I did pay up for this. This is sterling. And this, oh, I'm trying to remember the tribe. I think it is the Dakota tribe. Um, it's very similar to a kachina, if you know what a kachina is. I fell in love with this. I knew what it was the second I saw it, and I just thought it was absolutely amazing. It is signed there. Amazing. So, I had to pick that up. Then I got some more jewelry that I will show you guys. Um, I got this amazing necklace. So this has all sorts of different beads. You have like a ceramic bird, you have some glass beads, some wood beads. I just thought this was so boho and so fun. I absolutely love it. There was a little bit of glow. So I was playing with my black light because something here really, really glows. And I noticed that some of these glass beads glow. So that's kind of cool, just like an added bonus. But this necklace is so fun. I just love it. Look at that glass bead. That is really cool. Okay, then I picked up a couple of bracelets. This has dyed shell as well as some natural stones. I just thought it was really pretty. There's a piece of halite right there. Just really fun. I love all the colors. Great piece. And then I got another bracelet. I thought it was in here. Here it is. This is hematite and glass. I liked the square in the hematite. And you know, I haven't tested this. I don't know if it's silver, sterling, or if it's plated. It looks like there is a marking there. I think that says 925. So anyway, I just thought that was cool. So I had to get that. Now, this is sitting in a really cool um, pewter trinket dish. <laughs> That's my life. Everything's fine. Everything is just fine. Oh my goodness, I've had quite a day. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful heart trinket dish. I just thought it was great. It is from Mexico. It is marked Mexico on the bottom. Of course, I had to put jewelry in it because, yeah, that's what I do. I love using these for jewelry. Okay, then over here, this is Howlite. This is a really cool bracelet. It is a mesh Howlite bracelet. 
it's all these chips. It's really cool. I like it a lot. It's thick, it's over an inch thick. Then here, this is turquoise with amber glass. This necklace is beautiful. The glass does not glow, I did check it. But look at all this turquoise, y'all. It's beautiful. I don't have my bust out so you can see it, but there is just something about amber and turquoise that I love. So here is that. This, this. So this is a vintage piece. It is from Mexico. This is onyx. I have never seen this in yellow and I freaking love it. I do have a couple of these in my collection already. Um, but I've never even seen the yellow. Isn't that cool, y'all? I love it. Then this is beautiful. This is sterling, and as you can see, it is a beautiful mother of pearl. There's the bottom of it. I apologize for my camera and my lighting. Is this not the coolest? I'm assuming this is probably native as well. That's what it looks like to me. It very well could be. Then this is a vintage acrylic necklace. I love the colors, these yellow and oranges. Okay, guys, never a dull moment. <laughs> but I just thought this necklace was super cool. I love the yellow and the orange. It looks good together, doesn't it? Very cool. This is a crystal trinket dish. Let me zoom back out. Um, this is made by Lennox. I thought it was really pretty. I love the shape. It is gorgeous. Then this, this necklace is really cool. Now this is not real coral, um, but it's a great necklace. It's very well made. And it has this uh, suede tie here, just really good. Love it, love it, love it. And back here is this amazing wood kitty. He is vintage. And he has a little mouse in his mouth. Look at that. <laughs> I just had to. There are so many cat lovers that come to my sale, so I had to pick this kitty up. This big wood kitty. This is Viking. This is a swung vase. It is fantastic. It glows green. Let's see. If I, oh, yeah. Can you see this? Can you see it? Because it glows like crazy. It is amazing. It's beautiful. I do collect amethyst glass, but I'm going to offer this one up first because I'm running out of room. I think it's absolutely amazing, though. It's beautiful. Then I got this piece of studio pottery. This is amazing. So I looked up this artist. His name is John Friedmark, and he is very well known uh, for his stoneware. He started um, doing pottery in 1973. He has pieces that are in museums, and I just thought this was absolutely breathtaking. Let me kind of turn it around so you can see this. I bought it with these in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in there or not. I guess I could offer it to whoever decide they want this. Look at this dash of red here. Um, so he was very into nature and you can see that in a lot of his work. I did a little bit of a dive. Um, this piece is phenomenal. It's so cool. Okay, I think I showed everything. I think, I think, I think. You can also consider this a preview for my sale tonight. Yes, tonight. It is at 10 Eastern, 9 Central on Simon Says, Let's Make a Deal. I hope you guys can join. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening and hope to see you soon. Bye. Hello, friends, and hello, fellow vintage lovers. Welcome to a second haul for this video. Unfortunately, yesterday when I filmed what you just saw, I did not have internet. I lost internet for almost 24 hours and it was like a spectrum system outage. So anyway, that sale already happened. So some of the items in the prior haul did sell, but these items have not sold. 
some of these will be in my sale tonight. We have another sale on Simon Says Let's Make a Deals channel. It is at 6 Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. Oh my gosh, the Highway 80 finds just keep going and going and going. If you guys are interested in a total of what I spent, um, you know, for the entire Highway 80 sale, I'm happy to include that. I actually tallied it up, including gas and food. And yeah, I was able to source so much and I'm so glad. I wish Highway 80 was once a month. Of course, it's twice a year, but we can keep dreaming, right? Okay, guys, so you already know the drill. I picked all these up at the highway sale. Uh, there's a couple things that are not for sale, but I wanted to show you things that, you know, I collect. There's one thing my husband wanted, um, and there's a couple things that I'm keeping, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. I'm hoping once I get caught up on all the content I want to post that I can show you guys some of my collections and talk about things that I love and, you know, do fun stuff like that. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything I have for this haul. Okay, so right here, my husband picked this out. He wanted something. He He's a musician. He also repairs guitars. He wanted a little dish shape like this um, to put some items on some of his tools and things like that upstairs in his music room so he wanted this for himself so this will not be for sale this little monkey pod um, dish it's cool I'm sure you guys are familiar with these underneath that is this beautiful silk scarf this is actually from the Smithsonian which I thought was amazing it is Japanese and it is a gorgeous silk scarf it's beautiful. It does have a tag here, Smithsonian Institution. Um, it has all these beautiful butterflies, um, you know, Japanese style, and I absolutely love it. It is a great size. It's in light new condition. You've got the rolled edges. It is just phenomenal, and I love the red. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Next up is a like new Vera Bradley makeup bag. It does have the Vera Bradley tag. Um, it's this really pretty blue floral design. I'm not going to open it up. It's in really good condition. If you're interested, you can always reach out or come to the sale tonight. Um, this is fantastic. This is like an overnight bag. It's like a tapestry bag. Um, it does have little feet on the bottom. Can't really see them. I think this is probably vintage. Um, it's the same design on both sides. It has this big strap here. Uh, it's roomy on the inside. It's just really good. I, I don't really want to open it up and go over it right now because I have everything laid out. But this will be for sale as well. I just thought it was awesome. It's got all these zippers. It's the perfect overnight bag. It's a great size. Now here, <laughs> this one I'm keeping. It's not very often that you find embroidered horse tea towels. So I picked this one up for myself. There's a couple reasons. First of all, I don't have a horse um, in my collection and I love it, but it also has some staining and I wasn't sure if it would come out or not. I have not had the time to try, but I had to get this. I think he's amazing and I love him. Isn't he fabulous? Then I got, oh my gosh, these are so cute. These are his or his and her bleh, pillowcases. Um, here is the Y for the woman's side. It says lovey, and it's this poodle. Look at her and her tail. And then lover is this bulldog. Look at him. These are so good. Um, they are obviously handmade, and they're in wonderful, wonderful condition. And again, those are pillowcases. I love them. Look at the details. Just amazing. Then here, these are two witches, which I am probably keeping. I know for sure I'm keeping her. Um, she's just really cool. I love this little um, celestial design there. She's just this older witch sitting down. Then I have another witch here with a frog. I'm probably keeping her too. I 
think she is wood. This is resin, I do believe. But isn't she fabulous? Believe it or not, I don't have a lot of witches in my Halloween decor. And my husband and I love Halloween. So I went ahead and got both of these. I just think they're fabulous. So again, definitely keeping, maybe selling. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Look at her and her frog. Uh, she's so cute. Okay. This is stunning. This is Dugan glass. It is carnival glass. And it's this beautiful rose bowl or rose pattern dish. The base color is amethyst. This is so good. It is so beautiful. And I absolutely love it. It's got this beautiful sawtooth edging. Just a stunning piece of antique glass. Um, I had to get this. I think it's beautiful. I don't get Dugan very often, and I was so happy when I found it. I was also happy when I found this. Um, this is a Mexican terracotta uh, decorative plate or dish. It does have um, string on the back to hang it if you wanted to do so. It looks vintage to me, but it's got these amazing fish. I just thought it was so cool. It's in wonderful condition. This is not a chip. That's actually under, under, well, it's glazed right there. So it's something happened there in the making of it. It doesn't matter. It's just amazing. Isn't it amazing? I think it is. Okay, then here I got this little um, heart trinket dish, kind of Victorian style. So it has these two, I don't know if they're stains or what. I did try to clean them with a wet cloth because this is one of the tarnish resistant pieces uh, mid-century from Japan. You're supposed to be able to just clean that right off. I was not able to on the first go, so I'm going to keep trying. But it's this beautiful like Victorian heart, and I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so on that were these amazing, and I'm going to zoom in for the jewelry, um, Cookie Lee earrings. They're on their original card. They're in wonderful condition. They are pierced. I love them. I love the rhinestones. And they were $29 originally. Genuine crystal earrings. Aren't they cool? I love them. Okay, then here is another Lee. This is Judy Lee. These amazing milk glass clip-ons. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like there are a couple of darker stones there. Um, you know, that happens over time, but they're still amazing. I love them. These are beautiful. Then I picked up this. Now, I believe this is probably Murano. Let me try to show you some of the beading here. It is gorgeous. So this is all glass. like a coppery gold color. And I apologize for my lighting today, guys. I, it's not it's not up to my normal standards. Um, my next haul will definitely be fixed. I'm having trouble with um, my lighting in here. But is this not amazing? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now that I'm looking at it, that looks to be tiger's eye. Yeah, really pretty. Then, I mean, I just had to. I went to UT. Longhorn, hello. Hi, Bevo. Um, this is a bolo tie, and it has this amazing longhorn. It, it is not marked, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't see a marking on it, but I love it anyway. It's on, I think that's a leather cord. Maybe more like a nylon. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm always going to get that. Now, this is absolutely amazing. Um, this is a real pressed butterfly. Rest in peace, sweet butterfly. Uh, with some flowers. This is probably from the 70s. What is so cool? Look on the back. You have a mirror on the back. This is amazing. I love this. It's a good size pendant. And it's phenomenal. Really was excited when I found that. I don't think I've ever found one of those. Okay, then back here are three more necklaces. And I think these are mainly glass. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this is a multi-strand with some reds and burgundies. This is just beautiful. I didn't have room to put my bust up, but I think you kind of get the idea here. Just amazing. 
Then this one back here is also beautiful. This is really long. And I'm not quite sure what these stones are. They are stone. Look at the tassel I'm about to show you. All these seed beads. It is this beautiful, beautiful necklace. Somebody tied it like that. Um, it's amazing. I love it. I haven't had time to test any of these stones, just so you know. Um, then the last thing that is in this haul is this beautiful um, glass and cloisonne cobalt blue necklace. There's a clasp. You can tell it's really well made. It is absolutely beautiful. And I keep saying this with all these stone and glass pieces. These are great just for decor. You know, you can have it draped over your glass if you collect cobalt glass or any color glass, really. Um, you can have out these out with your natural stones. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And I just, I'm obsessed. Can you tell? I'm obsessed. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the double haul for today. I hope you can join me and Sabrina tonight. That will be linked on my community page. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Thank you, as always, for all of your support. Bye, guys.